welcome to Ginster's Hostie Cafe. <laughs> Turns are about to come on. The show contains adult themes, horrible northern accents and flashing. Wish I was talking about the lads. I remembered if you're laughing, it's comedy. And if you're not laughing, it's art. Hold the fine. Now take your cubby little fingers out of your arseholes and put your hands together for your hosts. It's the Salmon Coals. Welcome to Against Us. Give us a cheer if you're excited to be on your holidays! Yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. And give us a cheer if that opening number actually made you feel quite queasy. <laughs> well, guys, that really is the, the best, best it gets. <laughs> All right, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Amy, and I'm the kooky one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Christopher Louise, and I'm the... No, I don't think I'll be having the jab, thank you. <laughs> Because my cousin had the Moderna. <laughs> Two days later, tried to get off with his own mother. <gasps> One. You didn't say that was your cousin, you said that was you. But together we are... <laughs> the Salmon Court. And here at Ginsters, we aim to give you not the holiday you desire... But the one you truly deserve. Yeah. And as Salmon Coats, it's our job to provide the entertainment throughout the duration of your stay. But our responsibilities don't stop there, do they? No, you'll see us all round the camp, mopping the carpets, supplying fresh towels and, if needs be, an alibi. <laughs> we were together all night, officer. Swab me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll even empty the cum out of the pull filters. <laughs> And Amy, look at this young lad. He's ready to fill him right back up again. <laughs> and why shouldn't you, sir? He's on his holidays. <laughs> now, we have got a little introductory video to help all you camp virgins, as well as those who haven't holidayed with us before. <laughs> woo! 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 And uh, I'm excited to show these guys the video. Are yeah, you? very excited. A little bit nervous when we filmed it, mind. Were you? A little bit nervous. Yeah. But excited to show you because at the very minimum, it does offer us an opportunity to get out of this skirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little peep behind the curtain there. You know, a little peep behind the beef curtains because... <laughs> I don't mind telling you, it's quite warm in here. And I'm pretty sure at this stage, both of us have fush. OK, start shuffling. <laughs> Alexa, play the video. <laughs> Diddy na na na! I'm Gary Ginster, and welcome to the vacation destination you won't be able to forget. <laughs> At Ginsters, we have over 300 acres of staycation utopia for you to explore. It's the perfect place for you to kick back, relax, and smoke a ciggy indoors. <laughs> Pay a visit to our gastro pub, the Cannon and Ball. You can treat your future widow to a slap up meal. <laughs> Feeling clammy? 
why not take a dip in our headline-grabbing pool? And don't forget, there are plenty of laughs to be had, courtesy of our world-class entertainers, the Salmon Coats. Look, here they come now. Hi, we're the Salmon Coats, and we provide all kinds of services. Singing, beatboxing, rapping, shouting, grouting, wet wipes, nature. But they're probably most famous for dancing. <laughs> Athletics, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Spiders, Tug Jobs. Sound too good to be true? Hear what our guests have to say. Great, the best place, Buffet. So don't you worry, with the salmon coats around, you'll be in a safe pair of pair of hands. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Uh, don't mind telling you that's actually the first time I've ever acted on screen. So. Wow! <laughs> Unbelievable! Thank you. Knock, knock. Could that be my big break at the door? <laughs> no, it's just the bailiffs again. And on a personal note, we would just like to add that it's actually our first day here too. Our first day wearing these hello jackets. Mm. It's just like I always dreamed. Two in the pink. <laughs> Well, we deserve that. Because we've done our time doing those shit gigs, playing in theatres that are clearly just old textile factories <laughs> in shitty bits of town. <laughs> playing for pretentious arseholes that love street food but just don't get it. <clears throat> but thank you so much for coming. And uh, I'm sure you wish you were here too, don't you? But I, I love it, I do. Do you? I love it. Love it. Life on the road. Applause breaks, laughter, and uh, those dressing rooms full of those fun-sized mini Mars bars. Ha! Love it. Why are you always crying all the time, then? <laughs> I'm not always You're crying always all the crying time. You're always crying all the time. <laughs> I'm not always crying You're all the crying time. You're crying now? It's just these shorts. <laughs> and nipping. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not hard. Of course it's hard. Having a career in light entertainment is almost statistically impossible. Not everybody can make the cut. We know that from experience. We lost a member. <laughs> Originally, we started out as a trio. But I ate him in the womb. <laughs> crunchy, crunchy. So, so now, we're a double act. Yeah. Well, unless you work for HMRC, in which case we are window cleaners. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we put the graft in. And in the very short time that we've been doing this together, our names have already become synonymous with... Yeah, with the cheapest speed on the circuit. No. Now, let me tell him, we will not be beaten on price. And if Nish Kumar is telling you otherwise, you come direct to me. Right? Oh, no, 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 we don't sell speed. No, not just speed. We've got your ketamine, I've got your fetamine, I've got a bin bag full of poppers, I've got no. meow meow, do you remember that? <laughs> No, we don't have any drugs at all. But what we do have for you is live entertainment. Every single night of your stay from some of the most available acts on the circuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that is true. So coming up tonight, we have got some amazing talent. Opening the show, we have got Cleck Eaton's answer to Cradle of Filth. <laughs> it's Manger of Muck. Can I get an A up, Satan? They don't normally do that. They did it. No, they did it. They did it. I think we're in trouble. <laughs> it's quite a culty vibe, isn't yeah. it? Are we all going to fuck? Just... <laughs> no, I ain't bothered, but just nod if we are. Yeah, all right, yeah, great. <laughs> what the doors? <laughs> we cut that bit out. And then... <laughs> and then closing tonight, we have got illusionist extraordinaire. The great Zambino. Don't get yourself overexcited, kid. What do I always say? You always say they put microchips in them jabs. I'm not getting one! <laughs> About magicians. Uh, uh, you always say magicians are just waistcoat-clad con men who were brought up by the grandparents and don't have any friends. <laughs> it's mean. 
But it's not wrong. No, no, but Zambino's different. Zambino's different. He does everything, right? So he does, um, he does sleight of hand. He does mind reading. He even does spectral tit fuckery. <laughs> Mind reading? Yeah. <laughs> Nonsense. Tell me, Amy, have you ever had your mind read before? No. Have you ever had your tits fucked before? <laughs> oh, gentleman never tells. <laughs> All I shall say on the matter is that I'll always have two very special friends and a very damp mattress <laughs> in Hartley Pool. OK. <laughs> Now, you're probably thinking, but when can I get rid of my horrible kids? <laughs> well, the great news is that you hardly have to see those little life ruiners at all. Because you can dump them at our kids' club, which is hosted by our very special friend, Colonel Whippy. <laughs> Did his CRB check come through, then? Uh, and that is every day from noon. Right, OK. <laughs> right, and now, uh, one final thing, guys. Please remember, you're on your holidays. <laughs> So there are no rules. Apart from these rules. Yeah, so rule one, please remember to take your medication. Very simple, how could you forget? Rule two, please remember that this is a holiday from work. Yeah. And the stresses of everyday life. Not from wiping your assholes. No. <laughs> no. no, it's not. Shall but I have it's to not. It? And look, we're not trying to single anyone out. Absolutely not. No, we wouldn't, we wouldn't dream of it, otherwise we'd be upsetting... Skiddy, Skiddy Keith. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. No, that's not us. And the uh, final rule, very simple final rule, if in doubt, don't! don't. Just fucking don't! Do you think I won't go off? You think she's not going to fucking go off? Fucking go off! <laughs> you think she's not going to fucking do it? I'll go off! She'll fucking go off! I'll go off! I'll put moss in your eyes! <laughs> Here, all your skin dissolves. <laughs> She'll fucking go off. Do it. I will do it. But, uh, Amy, we shouldn't leave these guys on the admin, should we? Diddy Nana, no, Chris. <laughs> so how about we do a quick game to relax these camp virgins? All right, so, yeah, let's do a game. So one of you is up for a chance of winning a prize. Woo! Oh, but who's it going to be? <laughs> who is it going to be? And this is a tough bit, actually, for us, because you want to pick somebody who wants to get involved, not someone who's going to hate every single second of it. <laughs> Amy! He's got his bloody hand up. See, very subtly. Welcome yeah. to the stage! Hey. Right, uh, step this there, way, step sorry. There, step there. Be careful. Here you come. Oh, a jog up. What confidence. Hello, how are you doing? All right. Oh, lovely T-shirt. <laughs> All checks out. Oh, round of applause there. What's your name? Simon. Simon. And what do you do, Simon? I'm a videographer. A videographer? Fucking hell. I hope you're doing your jobs right. <laughs> Simon's going to have you. <laughs> do they look like it's set up right, Simon? Yeah, Be honest. All right. <laughs> and Simon, should the cameras be pointing at their own faces? <laughs> <laughs> Not really, OK. Um, <laughs> Simon, what sort of music are you into? Who's your favourite artist? Um, beat Your Band. Beat your band. Mm. Not heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> we like Little Mix. Yeah, we do, yeah. No, we do. To be fair, we do. Five albums in. Hit. 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 <laughs> When's it going to end? <laughs> yeah. right, right, Simon, what we're going to do is we're going to play a really simple game. We're going to show you some images on here of objects. And all you need to do is remember the objects, and if you get them all right, you get a prize. Is that all right? Yeah. Did you ever see the Generation game? Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> legally, it's nothing like that. Not at all. No. Why don't they cease and desist? Why don't they cease and desist? <laughs> so we'll do... Right, come over here with me, Simon. We'll do a little test one. Don't fall off the sit. We'll do a little test one Just first. a test. Just a little test one. Get you into it. OK. Right. So, are we ready? Alexa, play the video. <laughs> A mug. A potted plant. A soft toy that you can cuddle. Not a 
right, all right. So, I mean, there was three objects there. What can you remember? Mug, yeah. A potted one. Yeah. And a soft toy that you can cuddle. Smashed it. Oh! Yes! Well done. Smashed it. Thank you, Simon. Right then, we're going for the prize winning round now. Same thing, but eight objects. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. He's ready. Yeah, All right. Okay. Alexa, play the video. <laughs> a washing machine. A mug. A tiny little horse full of the world's worst diseases. Nan's tears. A mountain of earwax. The heat left by a stranger on a toilet seat. The shame of not rubbering up. That same soft toy with a soggy looking hole in it. <laughs> oh, get right into the middle for me, Simon. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Eight objects. 30 seconds on the watch I forgot to wear. Here we go. Bip. A uh, washing machine. Yeah. A mug. Yeah. Shame we're not rubbering up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that same soft toy with a hole. Yes. A mountain of. Uh, oh. It works. It works. It works. What a heckle. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a name. <laughs> uh, the heat from a toilet seat. The heat on a toilet seat that someone's left behind. Did we have that one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have that one, Simon? Don't try and call me. Three left, three left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Donkey, donkey. Donkey, donkey. Oh, 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 yeah. One left. Um, Your man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not 1995, where we shouted your mum. Turn them off. It's a waste of time. Uh, again, waste it. of time. Right off. One left. Plan. Plan. <laughs> right, okay, let's pretend that you've got all eight. Ready? And then that one! Yes! We got them all right! <laughs> These guys think you did very well. Chris, how do you think you did? What's wrong with you? <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> what was going for? How did you even get... Alexa, play that video back. Oh. Stand over there. <laughs> what? Sit down. Sit down. A round of applause, I guess. <laughs> what? You've got to be careful of the volunteers. That's, a, that's, a, that's annoying, that's a shame. You've ruined that for everybody. But if yeah. you hadn't messed around, you could have won big. What could you have won? You could have won an all-expensive paid trip for two, mind, to Bella Vitalia. <gasps> <laughs> Bella Vitalia, yeah. I'm gonna take the fresh heart of Italian cooking <laughs> and then microwave that fucker for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, alas, twasn't to be been. So I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna pop it to the local. And... <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop into the local hamlet, get myself a few hundred thousand Benson and Hedges, get me through the weekend. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. All right, okay. Well, while Chris is gone, it's a good time for us ladies to share tips on how to flag down an unknown bus driver to escape an officer of the law. <laughs> um, oh, what are you doing? What's happening? Take your hands off the door! Take your hands off the door, you can't go out that way. What are you doing? You haven't got the right pass. What do I have? Well, you've got little puddingy titties now, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Two little Christmas pud puds. <laughs> what, pass you cow. Oh. Yours says P on it. Why does yours have a V on it? Where did you get that from? Did Ginster give it to you? Is there something going on between you two? <laughs> well, no, no, no. Uh, don't, don't think about it, though. I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you in the morning, all right, pal? OK, I'll be in in a minute, bud. <laughs> well, no, you've got your own room, so don't, 
<laughs> I'll be in in a minute. No, 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 no. You've, you've got your own room. You don't need to come Just to my room. Just get it nice and warm oh, for me, yeah? Fucking hell! Listen. So much not right here, and I'm not just talking about my one really, 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 really big foot. Don't you look at it. <laughs> Don't you bloody dare. <laughs> I'm gonna do some digging. Well, you know, not digging, not with my back. <laughs> and my knees. And my pussy and my crack. <laughs> But I'm going to find out exactly what's going on at Ginsters because, guys, mark my words, just like my mum's bath water, <laughs> something smells fishy. We appreciate this is difficult for you. Can you talk us through his behaviour? Yeah, um. He just sort of snapped. I think the pressure of the shit gigs got to him. He started talking about how the industry's turning its back on straight white men. And straight? Yeah, almost completely, yeah. Watch his magic mic every single night just to check. <laughs> Have you seen this sort of thing before then? Oh, yes. It's becoming an epidemic in light entertainment. We're seeing more and more cases like this. What's going to happen to him? He'll be taken care of. That was weird, wasn't it? What was that? <laughs> Amy? Psst. <laughs> Amy? <laughs> Amy, love, are you awake? <laughs> hey, psst, baby. <laughs> are you awake, baby? <laughs> Amy, wake up. <laughs> I can't sleep either. <laughs> Listen, I need to talk to you. Kai, okay, just wait till our next business meeting. Oh, Emmy, love, I don't need a boo. <laughs> you will still come with me, though, won't you? Yeah, but, you know, one of these days you are going to have to learn how to pinch it off yourself. <laughs> Now listen, summer stinks here. I think it's your one really big massive foot. Don't look at it. Don't you bloody dare. No, Amy. It's this place, it's sinister. I'm telling you, the more you look, the worse it gets. It's like re-watching old episodes of Friends. Have you woke me up to talk about Joey Tribbiani's attitudes to women again? But it's not just Joey, is it? <laughs> Take another look. It's Chandler. <laughs> and it's Ross. Oh, yeah. And then three nagging bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've been doing some digging. We your pussy. Turns out. <laughs> Ginsters wasn't always a holiday camp. In fact, it was built by the military and they used it for redacted. <laughs> as soon as we figure out what that word means, we'll blow this case wide open. Do you know what? You're doing that thing again. We're meant to be two best friends, doing the job we've always wanted to do, having fun, living our best lives, but you're finding tiny little negative things and then you're obsessing on them and you're focusing on them and you're ruining it for you and me and you always do it and it's driving me crazy. It's a bit close to the bone, now. <laughs> <laughs> Can we stick to the script? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
yeah, sorry. Um, uh, redacted what? Exactly. <laughs> what was that? It's just Colonel Whippy doing the rounds. That's mental. Come on, pack your bags, let's get out of We've here. We've just got here, we're not going, just chill out. But do you know what? We could have a bit of a chat. I've been doing some thinking. With your pussy? Yes, with my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, maybe we should take a break for a bit. You know, you could have a rest, and I could do some solo stuff. Oh, I mean, not this again. <laughs> You're talking about lady comedy. <laughs> <laughs> what do I always say? You always say China invented the pandemic so they can have all the Sega Mega Drives back. <laughs> About ladies doing comedy. Right. Oh, you always say nobody wants to see women doing spoken word about men's bums and potpourri. Exactly. And listen, I know it's been a tough couple of years, but look at us now. We're finally here. We're smashing it. We're wearing these jackets. We're eating full-sized Mars bars for every single meal. <laughs> and you wouldn't want to let the fan base down, would you? Are you on about them two goths in Hartlepool? <laughs> yes, and we can stay on that mattress whenever we like. No, 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 no. I've, I've been approached by an agent. Don't need an agent. Well, it's not for us. <laughs> Somebody taking 15% of everything you do for just sending you to castings where what they're looking for is Northern Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> With neck as wide as his head. <laughs> Two hours on a train for that. Did you get it? Final two. <laughs> so, first. Fingers crossed then. No, no, it's not for that. She said there's actually quite an appetite now for lady comedy in the big stink. Leeds. <laughs> and she said if I work really hard in August, I can go to the Keithley Fringe and I'm going to do a solo show. And I've had this idea, right? It's not ready yet, but it's about um, how, as a woman, sometimes I don't really feel heard. And oh, like... Amy. <laughs> can I just stop you there? <laughs> yeah, why? Because it's really, really boring. <laughs> on and on and on, all about yourself. We need an early start in the morning. It's kids' club. We need to get a shut eye. All right, well, at least go to your own room. Night night. Oh. All right, boys and girls, good morning. Good morning, dads, dilfs, grand dilfs, and cock blockers. And welcome to kids' club. Now, Chris, what do we have planned for our junior campus this morning? Penis and vagina. That's what the P and the V must stand for in the passes. I've been thinking about it all night. Do you want to talk about this not at kids club? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, boys and girls. No, we've got prizes and games and a little bit of disco dancing. <laughs> Great, I love disco dancing. Sure, but we can't start. Wow. <laughs> No. No, we can't start until our very special friend, Colonel Whippy, comes to join oh. us, silly. Yeah, I forgot about him. Now, boys and girls, are you excited to meet Colonel Whippy? Yeah. Yeah. I said, are you excited? Oh, la, 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 la. Yeah. Oh. Okay, now, like all children's mascots, He's inexplicably shy. <laughs> and he won't come out until everyone claps their hands and sings the very special Colonel Whippy song, OK? Come on. OK, right, so I'll go we get won't him. fucking move an inch until he, you do join him. <laughs> right, off we go. Whippy, Whippy, here comes Colonel Whippy. Whippy. <laughs>
know what Colonel Whippy's favourite thing is in the whole world? It's partying! And Chris? Yeah? Do you know what Colonel Whippy's least favourite thing is in the whole world? Is it a healthy amount of personal space? <laughs> It's disobedience. Ah! I'm leaving. I'm sorry, I can't do this. I'll see you later, oh, boys and girls. This place. You can't leave. You'll make Colonel Whippy very, very sad. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, Jesus Christ! All right, stop doing your obscure film references. He's a, a wicker man, so... Is it? Good yeah. for you. Welcome back. Now, there's no need to be frightened. There's nothing more trustworthy than a children's entertainer. All right? <laughs> now, I've heard we've got a very special birthday in the audience. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> It. I don't think he's CRB did come Did it not? Right, OK. Whippy, Whippy, you got to come back. All right. You've had quite enough. Come on, back you go, Whippy. Everyone say bye-bye to Whippy. Let's go get your CRB checked on, Whippy. That's it. This way. That's it. Oh, no, this way, actually. Go this way, go this way. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's Simon. That's it. You like Simon? That's Lizzie. That's it. There we go. That's it. Oh, there we go. Can you get out? <laughs> Bye, we. <laughs> For someone who's shy, you didn't want to go, did he? <laughs> oh. oh, my go. God. Thank God he's gone. Oh, no. I mean, he's so. Fit. <laughs> isn't he? He's fit as fuck. What do you think? Do you think he's fit? He's a winnie, he's fit. Come on. You know he's fit, isn't he? He's fit, though, isn't he? <laughs> Dripping the caution, wet floor. Oh, come on, we all are that's, now. That's wow. Absolutely obscene, but it does signal that, guys, it is that time in the season when Amy needs a glance squat. Um, <laughs> so, gents, uh, after the show, please do form an orderly queue. Yeah. Or just like a real sweaty circle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be worried. I can assure you he's quite safe. But while you're here, it's imperative you obey protocol. What if something goes wrong, though? Cases like this are my speciality. The most important thing to remember is that to Chris, Ginsters is completely real. Surely he's going to figure this out. You'd be surprised how powerful delusions can be. Christopher Louise has created a complex narrative, all to protect himself from the pain of the real world. It's your job to maintain the illusion. Yes, and... Exactly. Think of it like improv. <laughs> right, so I'm one of these salmon coats, then? Yes. Right. Just play along with everything he says. Yeah. Anything he does, no matter how bizarre it might seem. Amy, we're going to the pub. Okay. Okay, we're going to the pub. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. 
Here I am, going to the pub. <laughs> oh, what a lovely pub. You all seem friendly. Oh, no, OK. Whose toes do I need to tickle to get a pint round here? Those would be my toes! <laughs> and, um, who are you meant to be? I'm the landlord! <laughs> <laughs> That's my name right there, above the door. Exit. The other door. Toilet's this way. A pleasure to meet you. Oh. Now, what can I get you? Uh, I'll just have um, a pint of Boddington's with a Xanax top if you've got it. How about some food? Our kitchen has just been uploaded. It's very first star. <laughs> Still a long way to go until we are officially hygienic. <laughs> but it's a start. No, I'm all right, actually. I just came here looking for my friend Chris. Let me tell you a tale, me big-titted lad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a friend. Reminds me a lot of you. Oh, yeah? Big hairy fucking knees. Don't you look at him. Don't you bloody dare. In fact, we opened this pub together along many moons ago. But then, then she, got, she got fancy notions of wanting... of wanting to op, open a wine bar for ladies in the big stink. Leeds. Right, right. And uh, what happened to her? I never heard from her again. <laughs> Apart from put one cryptic message on Facebook Messenger. She said, Ray-Ban sunglasses. <laughs> Nine dollars <laughs> and 99 cents. I mean, that is cheap. It's a fuck of a deal! <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> Do you think maybe when she went to Leeds that actually um, she flourished and she was happier and she didn't feel so trapped? I put a GoPro <laughs> inside the bat box on my house. <laughs> ah, let me tell ye, those bats, they were fucking a mouse. <laughs> Everybody sing along. I put a GoPro. They're singing. It's sad. How do you know this one? <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> no, no. We don't want. We don't want. We don't want to. Well, they do, but bah. we don't want to sing along. Bah! Everyone's a critic. That's the problem with your generation. <laughs> Always moping and banging on about the Clifton suspension. <laughs> Bridge. The Clifton Suspension Bridge? There you go again. <laughs> yes, it was ages ago. Get over it. Do you know what? It's a shame Chris isn't here. He'd like it here. Chris is very talented. Huh? Yes! Yeah. Oh, oh, Chris is very talented. He's um, not great at accents. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, one review said he was incapable of doing character at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if I told ye? Cos I'm not really from Scotland <laughs> at all. Because it's not the landlord you've been speaking to all this time. But it's me, Chris! Wow! Wow! Quick, Amy! Come 
over here. Yeah. Come over here. Come over here. Yeah. Come over here. Come over here. I'm here. Ah, right, OK. <laughs> Listen, I found something we can use to get out of here. I found this map. It shows a tunnel we can use to escape. Look. Where did you get this? I found it in Colonel Whippy's bedside cabinet. Some security guard is. No, no, no. This isn't a map. This is, um, well, the Colonel likes to uh, document our uh, tendernesses. And if, if, you sort of, if you turn it that way, you sort of see. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, why do these six hills have nipples? Well, you know my mother was a St. Bernard. <laughs> no, stop looking, put it away, and just stop beeping. You, you have a little look if you want. Have you got any fit uncles? No, 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 I'm not bothered, I don't, don't worry about it. OK, right, um, on to Plan C. Plan C? What was Plan B? The tunnel. So what was Plan A? The film up is a lie. Right, look. <laughs> There's a wall here. I'm going to need you to peg me up this wall, Amy. I'm not pegging you anywhere. Amy, I want you to peg me. I'm not going to peg you. You don't know what pegging. You don't know what pegging means. This guy's just trying to get his best friend to give him a good old peg up. I'm not going to peg you. So I'm not going to peg you. Do you know what? I don't need you. I'm going to peg myself no, up this wall. I'm going to take a run off. No, no, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Fine, OK. All right, OK. You are. You're trapped, OK? I knew it. What is this place? Is it a reality TV show for young, ripped, hot boys and set in a holiday camp? Where are the cameras? <laughs> are over there? No. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Um, I sort of don't know how to tell you this. Uh, Ginster's isn't a resort. Um, it's a retreat. It's Ginster's home for broken entertainers and fat footballers. I'm sorry. <laughs> piss the shit off. I will not piss the shit off. I'm telling you the truth. Look at these people. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at them. Do you recognise them? Oh. Do you really recognise them? Tony. <laughs> Remember Tony? What, no, what do you call him? Um, Zambino, the great Zambino, something like that. Tony's been here ever since he pulled that rabbit out of a hat, hadn't you? But although it wasn't a rabbit, it was a molar. And it wasn't a hat, it was Ben the birthday boy. Remember? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've got all sorts. We've got comedian, actress, uh, Lizzie here, child star, but stuck in Arrested Development, still thinks she's four. <laughs> uh, we've got Simon, the magic memory man. <laughs> now, Simon's trick, Simon had a photographic memory. And you could show him any objects, and he'd remember, you know, seven out of eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd, he'd remember them all. But it was a blessing and a curse, wasn't it, Simon? Imagine not being able to unsee the film Cats. <laughs> no, it, it sent him bonko, didn't it? And then, and then any time he saw a picture of a cat or a kitten, he saw these horrible things. It were awful, <laughs> wasn't it, Simon? And then that whole row there is Icklewick FC's top own goal scorers. <laughs> Sorry, love, I'm not following. What's we going did on? three Edinburgh shows on the trot. We built up all that momentum. And then there was a pandemic. <laughs> yeah. And we couldn't handle it. I know, but it was a bit hard, but I didn't tell anyone about it. No, no, no. No, no. I, I spoke to Ginster. You put me here. But I'm... Exactly where you need to be. <laughs> oh, no, Chris, come on. I was only thinking of you. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Positive. Do you know what? This has been a real long time coming. And my agent said I can't have any distractions this year. I just need to check that you understand the consequences of signing these documents. Yes! Can we speed this bit up? There's no jokes in these bits. <laughs> you won't be able to leave Ginsters until his condition is deemed stable. It could be a long time until he's released. If ever. Are we done? We can start whenever you're ready. <laughs> Do you know what? I cannot wait to be done doing that shit with him. It's nonsense. Right, I think I've got everything I need. So I've got this scarf, I've got my salmon coat. Uh, anything else? Don't forget to smile. Oh, yeah. 
Don't worry, I'm a professional. <laughs> actually because um, it's my last night at Ginster's. I'm going to be leaving my coat of salmon behind and heading off to the bright lights of the Keithley Fringe with a solo show. <laughs> so do look out for that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're upset with me, but unless we talk about it now before I go, I'm going to leave and we'll never be friends again. Is that what you want? Eyes down, everybody! <laughs> Your first number? Broken in six places, it's legs 13. <laughs> Two fat ladies, sadly one of them has passed, it's eight. <laughs> no, number of years we've apparently wasted doing this. Five. <laughs> Oh, Chris's actual age, which you won't put on spotlight, 43. <laughs> Number of tits Amy's got, six. Seven. Where's the other one? It's inside. <laughs> Banshee, 33. Full of hate, 38. Narcissist, 26. Small-minded, outdated, untalented old man. 17. <laughs> I'm small-minded. Yeah, you are small-minded. <laughs> do you know what? He doesn't think I should breastfeed in public. I do actually stand by that one. Oh, my God, it's 2021! <laughs> she doesn't have a child! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but do you know what? Without a little milky treat in the morning, Colonel Whippy doesn't have the energy for fun club! <laughs> And besides, he said my body is like a sensual landscape. Landscape? Maybe it's as much as your fanny looks like a tunnel. Oh, asshole! That's your asshole. No, you're being an asshole! I don't know, love. That's because I'm upset. It's because you following your dreams, that ruins mine. It was meant to be two in the pink, <laughs> not one in this big stink. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Very clever. An hour for that. <laughs> I mean, we, we did beg for that, yeah. to be fair. Um, <laughs> Amy, tell me this. If you hated it so much, what have we been doing any of this for? Oh, oh piss off. off! Do you know what? All of this is beneath me. I don't even need to be it. My agent has got me a train booked to the Keithley Fringe, so I'm going to be off, and as they say in West Yorkshire, au revoir! Goodbye! See you later! Amy, take your hands off the door! There's been a mistake. Sorry, sorry, there's been a mistake. I'm a visitor, not a patient. I'm... Exactly where you're supposed to be. <laughs> what? You're all right. We did three edible shows on the spin. It took a toll. Uh, we needed a rest. We both needed a rest. No, you wouldn't, you little piss. I've got a train to catch. You're going nowhere. <laughs> When you ready? Christopher Louise, January 12th, 2000. It says here 84. Listen, pal, the best I'm going to do you is 88. <laughs> Can you talk us through her behaviour? Oh, hi, pal. She's lost it. Started talking about wanting to do lady comedy. Uh, go to the big stink and do jokes about men, bums and potpourri. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I see. I hope you don't mind me telling you, Doctor. I'm just worried about her. I hope she needs a rest. I just need to check that you understand the consequences of signing these documents. Oh, aye. It's the best place for her. Best place for both of us. She won't be able to leave Ginsters until her condition is deemed stable. It could be a long time until she's released. 
If ever. If ever? show the Edinburgh Fringe. Every day we get a different comedian to be in the whippy costume. But tonight, uh, because we're recording it, pulled out all the stops. I literally can't believe this person is in this costume. And has agreed to do it. We did it. We got away with it. So ladies and gentlemen, please, can you put your hands together for... <laughs> Paul Merton! Oh, wait. Uh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, who are you? I'm Auntie Linda's kid. <laughs> Who's Auntie Linda? She was one who sells all your pills. <laughs> oh, Auntie Linda! I think I owe her about 600 quid, don't I? Yeah, all right, OK. Thanks for doing it. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Plug? Do we have anything we need to plug? Anything Your I should... hair? <laughs> no, no, not yet. It's Three over. Years. It's Couple... over. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of years. That's yeah. very it. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you to all the technical staff and the venue staff who've helped us out today. And uh, we'll see you later. Good night. Thank you. Bye. That. Yeah, hell of a show. I think we should, we should probably thank a few people. Come on. Uh, what about Joe doing all the Hollywood. tech? Hollywood. Joe Hollywood no doing all the tech. Way. Uh, I don't like it. No, it's creepy. But uh, what about John Stansfield? Who put it on? Yeah, he put a show on, hosted us. Big asshole. Yeah. A real big asshole. Yeah, what's that? that? Funny eyes. I think he nicked stuff. I think, he's a, I think he's a knicker. He's a knicker. He's a knicker. Look at Sam O'Leary. No way. That damn bloke. Nah. Bad nah. vibes off him. Bad vibes. Off. Did you get bad, bad vibes off him? I'm going to say that I said thank you for sort of doing this for us. Yeah. Flick knife. Got a flick knife out to me. You're joking. Like that. Get away from me. Are you joking? Yeah. True. This is why we shouldn't thank him. This is why, so we're not going to thank any of those guys, <sighs> girls. There's, um, da, 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 da. I'm not thanking Jack for the audio. No. Scrubbing the audio. So what even is that? Within an inch of a life. Someone get that someone fucked. makes up. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, scrub the audio. Yeah. Sponge. Get fucked. No way. Chris, I'm not thanking anyone for this. What about the audience? No! No. Um, I was nearly going to thank Ross. Ross Briley? Ross Briley. Briley? Mm -hmm. 
Briley. However you say it, he says it says a different word. Do you know what? Forget it. No, that's just not the whole thing on the bloody head. I guess it's just us to thank. Good, just bring it. It's absolutely smashing it. Are you going to thank me? Do you want to thank me? I'm saving that up for my deathbed. And I'm shitting myself to death. <laughs> On the deathbed, I'll say thank you, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>